Peter Del Pena here with Canada Wiki Keeper Hamza Tarek and USA Fastballer Ali Khan. After one of the most extraordinary games and finishes I think anybody who was here will ever witness as USA prevails in a super over over Canada. We're short on time, the lights are going to turn off soon, so cut to the chase. Hamza, first for you, take us through that final ball of regulation from your perspective. Do you feel you got the bails off before the first run was completed? Yeah, um, well, they needed three off the last ball, and um, as soon as Ali had missed that, that shot and it came to me, I thought it was done and dusted because in, in my head, uh, it was a run out, but obviously we have to respect the umpire's decision and it was a not out. And hats off to States um, for, for the game awareness and they, they kept running, they took the second run. And it's, it's, I, th I think it's a good thing we gathered the ball quick and we didn't let them take the third one or they would, wouldn't have been a, a super over. So hats off to them for the ga game awareness. I'll always take us through it from your perspective. I mean, super over or not, we should have finished the game when I should have run the third run, but uh, it was too close. Uh, it would have been run out anyway, so, but uh, it was never a dead ball. That's what umpire said on the field because they still threw the ball to make it run out and they started celebrating before it was over. So I think you should wait a little to celebrate. But yeah, good awareness from Rusty on the other end because he came running towards me and told me to run back. So yeah, uh, happy that we ran too and make it to the super over. Hamza, in the moment, were you aware that once the decision was given not out, were you, first, were you even aware that it was given not out? And second, depending on that, were you aware if that was the case that the ball was actually still alive? No, um, I didn't. I didn't know that it was not out. I thought it was out because, from my um, view, it, it looked out. Um, but obviously, the umpire thought otherwise. Um, like I said, I respect that, and 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 we were quick enough to gather the ball and throw it back in, and and stop them from getting the third run. So. The history of this rivalry. Everybody knows going back to 1844 and in the recent history going to Namibia and some of the other games that have been very hardly contested. Where does this game rank in the annals of the games that you participated thinking about the Audi Cup in Los Angeles and that, that close win and some of the other games you've been a part of? Look, every time Canada USA plays, um, it's always going to be a close game. It's always going to be a as, as per to say, a low-scoring filler. Um, we weren't expecting this game to go at 170, 70, 180 runs. Um, we always knew that this game will probably be around 140, 150. Um, that's how usually our games are with states. Um, and this game is definitely one of the, the top-ranked games um, as it came down to the wire. But there's been a lot of other games that have been the same. Um, so, like I said, every game, whenever we play against states, it's always going to be a good game. It's always going to be a good rivalry, no matter which players are coming from both sides, it's always going to be a good good day out. Always same question, where does this game rank in all the games you've played for USA or anywhere else? Um, you know, it, it, ranks, it, ra it really ranks high, but I would still ra rate the game in North Carolina that Steven Taylor ended. Uh, that was also the World Cup qualifiers game. Uh, so I think that would still rank higher than this one, but this one is right up there. But hats off to Canada, they played really good cricket, you know. Uh, after just scoring 140 on the board on this wicket, I think they were 20 runs short, but the way their bowlers came and bowled and disciplined areas, and it was a really, really good bowling performance from their side. And uh, end of the day was a good uh, game of cricket, and I'm happy that I could finish it for my country this time and uh, hopefully taking them to the next round. You mentioned Stephen Taylor's 22 runs off the final over. The other game on that tournament was a super over game. How much of that experience, even though it was three years ago, did you call upon in the moment when you had to take the ball for the Super over here? Yeah, you know, as soon as I came to bowl, Navid Ali was on the strike, so he said uh, we are back again here because he was also on the strike when I bowled that Super over. So it was like a deja vu, but uh, uh, you know, uh, we are happy that it came out on our side this time. Hamza, you've got a must-win game tomorrow against Bermuda. Essentially, whoever wins that is going to take more than likely the second spot out of the Americas to advance to the World Cup qualifier. What are your thoughts coming out of the emotions of this game heading into tomorrow? No, we're feeling confident. We were feeling confident before this game and we still are. We've got a strong side and we just got to go out there tomorrow, back ourselves, be positive and play our cricket. Um, and we can still finish top. USA could still lose to Panama. So we're still, you never know. It's we cricket. We already played Panama. Or one of the other ones. Get your specs right, <laughs> mate. Oh, USA 4 0, two games left. Bahamas and Argentina. What are your thoughts about the final two days coming up? 
Uh, first of all, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great uh, team effort from our team, you know, winning four out of four and uh, coming into this round this time around, you know, after a big disappointment last time, uh, the guys are really motivated and they have extra motivation to go out there this time and perform and we have our, uh, some of the big names back in the team as well and uh, yeah, you know, we are four out of four, two more days uh, uh, to go, we still have to respect the opposition. Uh, Bahamas and Argentina, you know, they're all it's still a game of cricket. We, we would like to finish on top and make it uh, six out of six and going into the next round with a lot of confidence. You two are very good friends, going back to days with TKR and, and even before that, going back to Indianapolis in 2015. Uh, what is it about the rivalry off the field that enables you to be able to stand next to each other after a moment that was so heated like it was at the end of play? Um, well, you know, it's still just a sport, it's just a game um, for us. You know, we play hard on the field. You, you, you probably saw him bowling three sharp Yorkers to me, almost broke my foot. So th there's no friendship in the middle, but you know, when we go outside, we're going to grab a coffee in the cafe, you know, maybe have a little brownie and, and just talk about the game. And, and that's, that's what it is. Yeah, you know, it's always great to play against Canada, especially Hamza, because he's, you know, he's one of my best friends, you know, in cricket and outside cricket as well. Um, we are really close off the field, a lot of people know that and I sometimes get in trouble for hanging out with him too much when we are on tour. Uh, but yeah, you know, end of the day, when we step in the ground, you know, it's country against country. So there's, you have to give 100% for your country, it doesn't matter who you are playing against. Uh, but off, off, off the field, we're just going to go and have coffee and, uh, you know, just chill, have a movie night or, you know, have some popcorn and just chill on, off the field. Just to add, I gave him this haircut. Oh yeah, he gave me this haircut. So <laughs> I, that was his first haircut. So so not bad. So, yeah, not bad, not bad. Anything else either one he wants to say about today? No, it's just um, I think it was a great game of cricket from both sides. Um, obviously, one has to win. And like I said, it was the game awareness at the end of the day from the United States that took him over the line. And and obviously, Rusty is is, is an experienced cricketer. And like you mentioned, he called him for the second run, and and we we thought the game was done. Um, so hats off to them. Yeah, great game of cricket. It's always fun to play against Canada. It brings extra motivation in us and uh, we play with a lot of passion and pride. It's always a tough game against them and it was really tough again. Made it to the Super Over again like one more time. So it was really, really good game of cricket. We ended up on top. Uh, congrats to our team and uh, yeah, good luck to Canada tomorrow against uh, Bermuda and hopefully they're right up there with us when we go to the next round. Canada Wicket Keeper, Hamza Tarek and USA Fast Bowler, all gone. Thanks again. Thank you.